Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Undi Krishnan. I am an endocrinologist and CEO at the Chalaram Diabetes Institute in Pune. So I'd like to say a few words about the use of statins in diabetes. There is a lot of controversy of how statins should be prescribed and which patient statins should be prescribed. However, I think there is enough evidence to delineate the prescription needs of statin in people with diabetes. We all know that diabetes increases the risk of cardiovascular disease and if you look at the American Diabetes Association guidelines or the American Heart Association guidelines or the American College of Cardiology guidelines, what is emerging is that most people with type 2 diabetes would require a statin, either a high intensity statin which would bring the LDL by more than 50% or a moderate intensity statin which would bring down the LDL by 30 to 50%. However, there is a controversy on the use of statins in young asymptomatic type 2 diabetes patients below the age of 40 who do not have risk factors such as smoking or family history of diabetes or uh, hypertension or obesity. So the American Diabetes Association and the American Heart Association both discourage the use of statins in type 2 diabetes subjects who are young who do not have any risk factors. Of course, there is no controversy about the use of statins in people with diabetes or without diabetes who, are, who have established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. Now subjects who with diabetes or without diabetes who have established atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease would require statins long term. So therefore how do we conclude on the use of statins in uh, type 2 diabetes? I think low risk subjects at low risk of cardiovascular disease below the age of 40 I think there is no need to prescribe statins. Above the age of 40, all type 2 diabetes subjects would require a high intensity or a moderate intensity statin. And if the patient has atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease and has diabetes, whether they are below 40 or above 40, they would require a high intensity statin long term. There are a lot of media reports about statins and cholesterol and that cholesterol being a myth. I'd like to say that there have been several randomized controlled trials of statins and statins have conclusively been shown to reduce the risk of myocardial infarction and cardiovascular disease in patients with pre-existing atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease. So I think it is important that subjects who already have cardiovascular disease should continue statins long term. I think it's important to clarify the role of statins in type 2 diabetes because there are a lot of social media posts relating to the use of statins and of statins being a myth and cholesterol being a myth. I think this stems from a dichotomy of understanding between the differences between dietary cholesterol and serum cholesterol. Intake of dietary cholesterol may not be as problematic as one thought it was because very few foods actually contain cholesterol and increased intake of dietary cholesterol would increase the bad cholesterol which is LDL but it would also increase the good cholesterol HDL keeping the ratio normal. So therefore dietary cholesterol intake may be controversial but serum cholesterol intake or serum cholesterol level or serum LDL isn't controversial. Serum LDL is directly linked to cardiovascular disease and reducing serum LDL with diet, exercise and statins in appropriate doses in people who really need it and benefit from it I think is important to protect the millions of people who suffer from diabetes and associated cardiovascular disease. It has been a pleasure discussing this topic with you and thank you so much for listening to me.